for the valley in Sacramento. Currently, we do have a few clouds here and there, but for the most part, it's been a fairly sunny day. Temperatures, they're warming up. In fact, daytime highs are pushing uh, well into the 90s. In fact, we have mid to low 90s, currently 92 degrees in Sacramento. Elsewhere, how about Stockton? You get a few clouds, especially as you look off towards the east. We have 92 degrees northwest wind blowing at six miles per hour. Currently, there in the Stockton area through San Joaquin County and through Stanislaus County in Modesto. Again, a few clouds, especially as you look more towards the east. We get a little that moisture that's working its way over the Sierra, and it's also blowing some clouds our direction. Northwest wind blowing at seven miles per hour. And in Fairfield, where currently temperature wise, a bit cooler, 85 degrees. We expect that though, with the southwest wind blowing at 24 miles per hour. Visibility is looking great, but look at the cloud here throwing a shadow on top of Mount Diablo. Very nice picture there. Lake Tahoe, a little bit darker with the cloud cover, a lot of it. We've had the rain working its way around the lake. It looks rather ominous as you look to my right, but uh, we do have some thunderstorms that have been developing. In fact, we have a severe thunderstorm warning that we let's go ahead and talk about it uh, right now as we take a look at conditions. Weather watchers, Strawberry Valley 85, Loma Rica 895 degrees. Today for a daytime high, Pollock Pines 86, 97 in Quincy, and Manteca 96 degrees. So, thunderstorm activity, we do have a flash flood watch that has been posted. That's flood watch so you can see areas of green. And we do have a severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued. You know, we have a lot of hail associated with these thunderstorms, but that's not the dangerous part. Dangerous part is, of course, is the lightning, heavy rainfall, possibility for some flooding associated with that, and the strong gusty winds could get some damaging winds with these thunderstorms, and that's a problem around Carson City. You can see it went right over, and now it's working its way out into the northeast corner there of Lake Tahoe. So that's where the action is at this point around Lake Tahoe. And then there's this wall of electricity, just lightning strike after lightning strike. Working its way up from the south. Now you have Highway 108 is starting to uh, weaken somewhat, but still very intense thunderstorms push on through. And this is going to stay with us as we head through the evening. A pulse of moisture is going to be coming up from the south. You can see all this cloud cover that's welling up from the south associated with it with our future cast through the night tonight. And so we do have a chance for even a few sprinkles. Yeah, on the valley floor late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then we'll see more showers developing over the Sierra as we head through your Sunday afternoon. Expect to have cloud cover sticking around through Sunday, then start to decrease on Monday with more showers and thunderstorms for the surrounding mountains. So very active weather pattern continues for the mountains. Forecast temperatures. We're looking at uh, upper 70s to lower 80s through Lake Tahoe and Truckee tomorrow, so noticeably cooler with that chance for some more thunderstorms. Could even see a few showers in through the foothills as we go through late tonight, early tomorrow morning, with temperatures ranging in the mid to upper 80s. Upper 60s through San Francisco, 80 degrees in Concord, 83 Antioch and Fairfield, 82 degrees. While valley spots will see mostly cloudy skies for your Sunday. We may see a few breaks here and there. Temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s from Lodi through Turlock. Davis 86, 90 in Marysville, 89 in Roseville, 88 in Folsom. And again, with a cloud cover in place, it's going to feel a little muggy outside. Your seven-day forecast has conditions that should start clearing by Monday here in the valley. Temperatures, though, staying in the upper 80s, getting to the lower 90s. And it's not until we get into uh, Thursday and Friday that we see those temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 90s, Richard.